bit. Totally. We're doing the face app yeah. aging filter. Yeah, Rex looks like Chris Christopherson. <laughs> and I look like at best a serial, serial a, killer. A shady folk singer, no, no, no. blues singer. At best. Maybe a serial killer. At best a serial killer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Best case it's scenario. Crazy. Uh, Welcome well, to the Whiskey Vault. I am Rex. I'm Daniel. And uh, there's not a whiskey. There's a class going on over there, so we're going to be a little bit more. No, um, I'm really not. Or I'm going to say, if you hear them talking in the background, that's yeah. what that is. Because I said, I specified, it's like, look, if class is going, don't tell me to come up. Because I'm here to make some noise. Yeah, no, I told them we were gonna make here to drink some whiskey and make here, some noise. I'm here to make some noise, and, and I'm, I'm all, all out of whiskey. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so uh, this is a, uh, and it's consumed because it was brought at uh, one of the whiskey school classes. Yes, this is from Brad Leclaire. Brad, the old patron, Sir Brad. Brad Leclaire, you patron saint of whiskey. Oh. Oh. Three mix. never as good as the original. It's really not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like the Christmas version, you know, of some movie. So this is a scotch you said? Th no, 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 no. This is from Canada. Canada. Oh, and it's cause, called... Because the bread. So Col uh, Corby's is this company that, uh, you know, Hiram Walker, they do all the J.P. Weiser stuff. Yeah. All the, well, we've loved the J.P. Weiser stuff. So this is one of their brands that they use. This is a mix of 11 different casks. You know what this reminds me of? I call it 11 Souls. You know what this reminds me of? What? Like, uh, like an Irish with some spiciness. Oh, in yeah. Yeah. So here's the thing. There's... Every, almost every kind of main grain in this. A spicy Irish. There's all different kinds of distillation. Co yeah. uh, copper, pot still, column. There's 11 different barrels and different finishing variations. There's just about every way that you could make whiskey in Canada is in this bottle. <laughs> and it's actually overseen by Dr. Don Livermore, who's just a genius at blending. Yeah. And he sort of, uh, he actually got 2019 Master Blender of the Year. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah, was that from, where was that from? I don't know if it was from the same where Wajera got Master Distiller. It might be. Yeah, that's World Whiskey Awards. Yeah, World Whiskey it. Awards. Right. Um, I like that. I like the, like the base of like a caramel and a Irish butteriness. It is very pretty, but yeah. it's not just candy. No. It's very sweet, but it's not just there's, candy. There's like a, there's like a wood spice in there. There's like, uh, I don't know, some kind of baking spice in there. Yeah, there's a round, like, um, not herbal is the wrong word, but there's a round, yeah, baking spice is probably the most accurate. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. Yeah. On top of all of the round, buttery, rich sweetness. And they're rocking in at 49% there. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. It's got the perfect amount of like slate tannic bitterness. Ooh. Yeah. It's almost metallic, um, a coppery. But uh, on mm -hmm. the way, you hit some dark fruits along the way. You know what's really weird? Though it just popped into my head is the taste of blood. When you accidentally bite your tongue and you get that sort of coppery oh. taste. Yeah. You see what I mean? Well, yeah, but I wouldn't say blood. Well, no, that's the closest thing to it. That's like coppery yeah. tinge, but not real, not bleeding. But like you bite your tongue, you get a little taste of that it's, coppery. It's fairly dark for a Canadian. <laughs> but then it goes sweet and round. A little bit of spice right through the middle of it. That's just really well balanced. Mm -hmm. Well, shockingly, and uh, I mean, and that was meant to be sarcastic. By and me. there are uh, some layers. There's multiple things going on. There's complexity. So yeah, I like I, that. I want to try one of the JP Weisers. This is one of the more interesting Canadian whiskeys I've ever had. That's just a damn good whiskey. And then there's, God, what is that? There's a specific spice that's used in. Oh, could it be like a ginger? Like a ginger snap it type could be of deal? Ginger. Like a ginger snap. I could get behind that. Yeah, like a ginger. Oh, 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 you know one that most people could get? Yeah. That we could compare it to? Yeah. Lot 40. Lot 40? Lot 40 is actually much easier to get. Okay, that's also Canadian. It's also Canadian. It's also the same people. This does a good job of Let's try this moment first. by moment switching it up. This is not even and open yet. You come back to it multiple times, you're going to find a new thing. So, uh, I like that. it's not exactly easy to get Lot 40, but I can get it at multiple stores in Austin. Uh, whereas this, I can't get anywhere. Okay. So I'm gonna say it's more, it's and, easier to get lot 40. And yet we're halfway through it. Well, it showed up uh, being brought as a gift from a class, so all the Psalms opened it up to try it out. I have no idea if these compare in any way whatsoever. It's just something that's easier to get. And it's Canadian. And it's Canadian. Okay. And you poured one because because mm -hmm. you're a serial killer. Oh, and that one's way more wow, candy and cream. A, it, but there's a maltiness to this too. Yeah, there's a candy cream. 
And that's not even the pot stilled one. Wow, that is the can. Oh, like the sh like the white powdered sugar yeah. mixed in with. See, this is so much nicer. This one is less candy, this less sweet, and more almost, depth. This is almost hot in the sweetness mm -hmm. on the nose, at least. Yeah, and the, and the taste is um, it's like one of those um, hard candies that then turns into a soft cream center. Yeah, and it's when almost, you chew on it, it's almost like an intense potpourri of those candies. Yeah. I do like I do like how the oak shows up in this. Yeah, me too. A little bit better, but this uh, is like, a superior whiskey. Yeah, I think the Gooderman and Warts. That's a more interesting whiskey. It's a more complex whiskey, but I like the way the oak delivers on this lot forty a bit more. And I really love the name Gooderham and Warts. Is it Gooderham? Yeah, Gooderham and Warts. Gooderham and Warts. I mean, he's a famous personality in history. Whiskey Some history, random it? guy says. Who is the ginger fluid hipster soy boy with the man bun? <laughs> I bet he's morally superior to everyone. Too bad Rex isn't there because he wouldn't stand for that. <laughs> you know, the, the amount that I just am chronically amused. And how be upset people get with the man bun. Right. The, well, man buns. It's and, not even a man bun, it's a pony. It's just a. Not even a ponytail. Oh, it's a warrior's top knot. Thank you very much. A <laughs> warrior's top knot. <laughs> but the amount, the amount that people think about my hair and clothing, it, it's uh, the, the amount that it happens in one day is more than I've obviously put in in a year no, for it's myself. Just, it's the easiest thing to make, make fun of. Okay. It's low-hanging fruit. Okay. That's what it is. What's well, worth doing? It's not everyone's <laughs> thinking about it. It's just, well, that's an obvious as one. As long as it's entertaining for the people mm -hmm. and it keeps the hair off the back of my freaking neck in the Texas summer. My yeah. God. Or speaking of, uh, Ben Alpers, can y'all address this in a future video? What's the difference between vodka and new make? I know from mm. experience that they still, that they taste different, mm -hmm. but why? So the shortest version is there's more stuff in the new make. Right. Right. So vodka is usually typically, typically the different, and these are stereotypes. Everyone does things differently. Traditionally, vodka is made in a column still and it's distilled way higher, which removes the vast majority of the flavor pieces, uh, the congeners and the oils and the fusel oils. And so all that flavor is gone. Uh, typically when you're doing a new make spirit that's going to go into a barrel, you're using a copper still and you're distilling at a lower proof, even legally required to distill a lower proof and wider cut. So there's more fusel oils. So basically the things that make you taste things, there's more of them in a generic new make that's meant to be whiskey than there is in something that's meant to be tasteless and odorless. In the, so obviously we've already made the comparison to Irish with the Gouter ham mm -hmm. and the warts, but there's another thing that I often find in Irish I'm finding in here beyond just like that, that butteriness, that sweet butteriness, that is kind of like the funk, the Irish funkiness. That the malt must. Yeah, the mustiness that often accompanies that buttery layer. It's not in the budget Irish. Mm. Um, it's in the pot still Irish. Yeah. Like, remember the teeling pot still we had? Yeah, yeah. That's what it's reminding me of. Yeah. We don't have that one in here right now. Apparently we forgot to bastard John Verstraight. John Verstraight. Okay, so. John Verstraight. He would like to publicly apologize to you. Rex would like to publicly for apologize. For not bastarding for you. For not bastarding you in. Just, just, we'll get you would between, on the next be, round. Between the, <laughs> Someone. Look, Rex will give you a back rub the next time you're on campus. I'm gonna warm up right here. No, God. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.